My name is Danae DiMartino. I'm a midfielder at Johns Hopkins University. And today we're going to talk about three different ways you could take a draw. So there are three different draws you can um, take. One of them is a push technique. The second one is a pull technique. And the third one is trying to get over your shoulder technique. So I like to start off with uh, the push technique just because I think that one's been most effective for me throughout the years um, and I'm most comfortable with that one. So usually I can assess that within the first couple draws if that's working or not. If it's not, then if it's like usually going behind me, if she's winning it, then I'll turn to a pull technique. Usually I can use more of my power with that one so I can try to get it really behind me to the restraining line even if, um, if that's working. And then the third one is if my first two options aren't really working, I kind of resort to this one. And it's kind of different, you put your left foot um, on the line, it's kind of awkward, but you want to get your top hand up and try to get the ball over your shoulder this way so you can pop it right um, here where usually there's no one on the circle. So for the push technique, I like to put my right foot parallel with the midfield line and my left foot is completely behind my right foot. So my hip should be facing the sidelines and I'm putting my stick here so I have that leverage with my right hand. So I'm getting low in my stance so I can drive power through my legs and when the whistle blows you want to use that leverage from your elbow to really get under the ball and push out. For the second technique, the pull technique, you want to put your right foot parallel with the 50 yard line and your left foot back and you want to put your left hand on the top of your head and your right hand at the bottom of your stick and you want to get low in your stance so when, you, when the whistle blows you want to open up your hips and really drive through your legs so your body, using that torque from your body to push back and the ball should go behind you. The third technique, you're putting your left foot on the 50 yard line and your right foot behind you and you're putting your right hand on the top of your stick head and your left hand on the bottom of your head and you're facing the opposite sideline and you're just trying to get that ball right over the, your right shoulder. So using your hips, driving through your legs and opening up um, to the right side. My name is Danae DiMartino and you are watching Lacrosse Magazine. I a lot of times shoot right out of my dodge. So as soon as you explode off that um, that planning foot and switch hands, you're right in the middle of the eight meter. So this is a spot that you can just release a shot really quickly um, if that sliding defender is not totally there yet, which they usually aren't. 